Yes, my people, good day. Customer states, customer states that her check engine light or VSC light are on the dash. So she requesting, fix this stuff for me. I don't want to see all these lights on the dash. All right? So we're going to fix that. Check the codes right now and see what the codes say. All right, so we grab the scanner. We turn on. Let me show you. Select the car. Lexus. Okay. Automatic selection. It's quicker. Read. It's trying to identify the VIN. Decode it. Okay. So with that information now, it knows the engine size. All right, North America. And this is a 05. Yep. Yes. Go diagnose. Go in the control unit. Engine control unit. Little message. Say okay. Time so. All right, trouble codes. Finally. Seems like we've been journeying a long time. All right, what that say? Coolant thermostat, coolant temperature below thermostat regulating temperature. So it's saying that the temperature of the coolant is below what the thermostat can regulate, meaning it is running too cool. What does that say? That says either the radiator too big, the fan is always on, which is not the case because it was working fine before, or it's that thermostat is stuck open and it's not close enough when it should to let the coolant heat up or warm up in the engine and then when it gets too warm it opens and then lets that hot water out, hot coolant out and let more cooler coolant in so it can regulate it. So long story short, the thermostat is not closing off all the way. So you have a thermostat that's probably stuck open or it is not closing off all the way. So we go replace the thermostat. Some people might think put a temperature sensor in it. The sensor is working because it detected it. It's the thermostat that's not working properly. And the thermostat is easy enough to get to and she has not done it in a long time. She's had this car for years. So I'm going with the thermostat. So let's go. The thermostat on the SC430 located right towards the top right here. Let me show you. Look. Right behind here. So this is the upper radiator hose. And this goes down to the lower radiator hose. So we're going to remove this. Then we're going to take this housing off. But before you start pulling any housing, first thing, the engine has to be cool. Can't be hot, right? So this is cool. See, it still have coolant in there. So we're going to have to drain some coolant. Then we can take these bolts off and we can get to the thermostat. All right, so we have a drain bucket and we have this for extra insurance. But who knows that no matter how big you get the funnel or how big the drain bucket is, no matter how you put it under there, there is always going to be a spot that misses all this. But just get the majority, right? As simple as that. I wish everything was this easy. I just wash these out because I might reuse the coolant. Inside clean. Funnel clean, reuse what I can reuse, quick and fast. All right, this is the new thermostat. And then this is a gasket. Gasket fits on it like so. And that's it. And it goes in like so. This part goes in towards the, 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 the hot water and the engine. This part stays out towards the hose. You see that little thing in here? air bubbles and stuff work their way out through here so when you install it install it with that point facing up um these look like 12s and it's three of them it's always good when you're working on stuff that you suspect and you can actually find a problem you see that right here do you see that see that yeah that is not correct that has failed temperature so there it is my suspicion was correct suspect the thermostat not the sensor see the little bleeder thing it lets out air bubbles you notice it's at the top so it helps to um let air out the system see 
So when I install it, I'm going to install so that mine is also at the top. This is how you change it. Just, it's just stuck up there. And you see the gasket is missing right there. So it is, with the gasket missing, what it does is it allows coolant to pass and not be prevented by the thermostat. Because if the engine is not warm enough, it will not allow coolant to pass through to cool it down even further. It will stay closed so that the engine gets to the temperature that it needs. And when it gets a little too hot, the thermostat opens up, lets the hot coolant out, let cooler coolant in. And then what that does is regulates the temperature. So the gasket being gone lets too much cool coolant through, thus giving you the code that says unable to regulate desired engine temp. Before I install this, I'm looking for this little piece right here. It's at the top. I'm making sure it's at the top. I look three times. I look triple the times because even when you look at something two, three times, you still can mess up. And before I put those, the nut back on that thread, you know me. Always put a little anti-seize because it, when it came off, it was real coarse. And you just line it back up and that's it. A little coolant leak on here, kind of clean it up. So it looks professional like she had went to the dealer. Old one goes there, discard of it appropriately. Correct torque like I just did. And when you're done, open your cooling system, get your funnel together. This is the tool I use. Pardon its rough look. It has been around the block a couple of times. And then this is like a giant funnel. And what, that, what this does for me is fills it. And then even when it's burping bubbles out, they're still cooling in here. And then when you see it stop burping and everything, then you know it's good. Then you can take it out and let's go from there. And when it's done, you just stop up the hole. I would use a little tool that came with it, but it broke. I loaned it to someone and it came back broke. Hmm. Go watch it. Make sure that the fans come on, cut back off at least one time before you deliver it. And there it is. I'm going to rinse all the stuff off outside. We call it a day. <laughs> 